By my count, there are about 417 reasons that CT is the best modality. Reason number 23 is contrast enhancement. The general purpose of contrast enhancement in CT is literally to add visual contrast to the images being produced during the study. Contrast agents are used at different times and in different ways and for different specific indications, but their general function is always one of these things, to differentiate between normal tissues or to help differentiate between normal tissues and pathologies. Let's look at a few examples. In these two images of a patient's chest, the image on the left is without contrast, the image on the right is with contrast. The image on the left clearly shows the heart, but the different tissues inside of the heart are not well distinguished from each other. Compare that to the image on the right where the patient received intravenous contrast. The various chambers of the heart are clearly distinguished from the other heart tissues. And so, one of the reasons for intravenous contrast in CT is to help differentiate between normal tissue types. Contrast in CT also helps to distinguish between normal tissues and pathological considerations. In these two images, the first image at the left was scanned without contrast. The second image at the right is an image of the exact same location in the same patient of the abdomen, but it was scanned 30 seconds after initiating intravenous contrast administration. In the first image at the left, the liver is seen, but there's not clearly anything wrong with the liver. In the image at the right, there are very clearly two lesions within the liver. And this is one of the reasons that we use intravenous contrast in CT, to help differentiate between normal tissues and abnormalities in the patient's body. This particular patient has received contrast in several different ways. We see contrast inside of the stomach, which means that this patient had received oral contrast. We can also see contrast in the small bowel, which usually means, again, that the patient has received oral contrast. In this patient, we can also see contrast in the blood vessels of the portal system. This confirms that the patient has received intravenous or IV contrast. This patient also shows very dense contrast in the descending colon and in the rectum. That means that this patient has also had rectal contrast. And of course, there's other ways that patients can receive contrast. Intraarticular contrast, which again means in the joint, and intrathecal contrast, which means in the spinal canal. When we inject contrast intravenously, there's actually several phases of contrast enhancement. As the contrast flushes through the body, it looks different at different times. It's not just there or not there. IV contrast has very distinct phases depending on its location in the vascular system. The easiest phase of contrast enhancement is non-contrast. And this is actually a valuable phase of contrast enhancement because some pathologies are better visualized without contrast. Things like brain bleeds and renal calculi. The second phase of contrast enhancement is the arterial phase. And this refers to peak contrast enhancement of the arteries as the contrast enters the organ. And for any organ, this will be the first actual phase of contrast enhancement. The next phase of contrast enhancement is the venous phase. And this, of course, refers to the peak phase of contrast enhancement in the veins. And this usually is referring to the time period when contrast is actually leaving the organ. The time delay for venous phase is dependent on the organ being scanned. The next phase of contrast enhancement is especially for the portal venous system, and we call this the portal venous phase. And this refers to the peak enhancement of contrast as blood is leaving the intestines and being directed up into the liver through the portal venous system. The time delay for the portal venous phase is 60 to 90 seconds. The last phase of contrast enhancement is the delayed phase, and this refers to the time period after basically all contrast has washed out of most organs, and this is usually only appropriate or useful for certain pathologies. The time delay for the delayed phase is 3 to 10 minutes or longer, depending on the organ of interest. CT scans are actually not limited to just one phase of contrast enhancement. This series of images actually demonstrates the four primary phases of contrast enhancement in the abdomen.
Image A is non-contrast, so this scan was actually performed before any contrast was administered at all. Image B is the arterial phase, which in this case actually shows an arterial enhancing lesion inside of the liver. Image C is the portal venous phase, and image D is the delayed phase, when most of the contrast has actually exited the patient's abdomen. As you can see, each phase of contrast enhancement is better at visualizing different structures and has the potential for visualizing different pathologies.